if you use something like this, see how it gets stained. So I like to use, in general, a, a porcelain or ceramic dish. So imagine this is your sink. We pour some water in it. I usually put a bowl in my sink and put some water, just so I'm not using a lot of water. You want to have either paper towels or I've got some rags. And then I like to use the just these craft brushes that are helpful to wipe out. And then this is a comb that is used for combing horse tails or dogs. And a nail brush. So any something like this. You know, you just be creative. All right, so those are kind of like my cleaning tools. Number one, important. You've mixed your ink. You want to practice. You know this takes a long time. Best practice is to mix your ink every time. Not always practical, so now we pour it into our dish. This press and seal is really nice. You can just take some, cover up your dish, and now you've got your mixed ink for all your beautiful practice work. When you make a painting, you want to make your ink from scratch. Now, here's our dishes. And we've got our paper towel that's dirty, right? So we want to first, let's clean out our brushes. So we mix them in the dish until it runs clear. And you press it against the side of the dish a little bit to make sure all the hairs are going the right direction and you get all that ink out. And you'll have more ink today than usual because of the lotus leaf. And then you just dry it off on the paper until it's nice and dry. To dry, to hang these, so brush stands, you know, like this, but you want to hang them so that they dry nicely. So they, the water just runs out. And that's how you want them to dry. If you don't have something to hang them on, just dry them off to the side. If you don't have a brush rest like this, you know, you can just roll up some towels and just use that for your rest okay just to let them air dry so you clean out all your brushes by wash rinsing them back and forth and so here as if I do it in this dish you're gonna get a better chance so now you see it's really running clean and you know I use this brush a lot today so I dry that off and now I'll do this one this is gonna have a little more ink in it and I just shake it back and forth and drag it along the side and then drag it along the side of the towel until it runs clear. If you have a lot more ink than that, don't worry. Just know you probably don't need that much next time. Now I've got these, these paper towels that I've been using for the ink. Well, the ink's gonna dry. It's not gonna continue to run. So I can just dip it in the water and I can just rinse out my dishes using the same paper towel wipe out my dishes and then now it's going to have a ton of ink in it so now I'll just soak up the rest of my ink that was in my stone and wipe it out and throw this away or and you, know, you can just throw it in the in the trash. That's it's basically charcoal and and glue and water. Maybe the brush that I use for the lotus leaf still has some ink in it. I could drag it along the side very gently of the nail brush. Or if you have some that's got some ink that's really stuck in the ferrule, you would very 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 gently work it way and just like you know if you were trying to get a rat's nest out of a child's hair you know you would you would be really loving and gentle so do that with your brushes right until it's all clean I'll use these craft sponges if I have anything that's really sticking in any of the dishes 
or the stone to really clean it out. Once in a while, you'll need to do that. See how much I picked up right there? So that's how you do that. Any questions? So hopefully that'll get you all set up for, for greatness and some beautiful practices this week. So thank you so much for um, joining us today. Have a wonderful week.